we are back at the house after a beautiful day of boating. I hope you enjoyed some of that footage. Uh, it was really choppy, like the boat was like kind of going crazy at times, uh, but overall it was really, really nice. Um, the place that we rented the boat from was called Deep Creek Boat Rentals and they were really affordable. So for a full like eight hour day of boating, it was like $450 including uh, taxes and everything like that. We did have to get it filled up um, and gas for the boat was uh, $4.50 a gallon. So we used about a half a tank for the eight hour day. Uh, so that wasn't bad. It was. It ended up being like $27 to fill it back up. Um, so really, I mean, not too bad for a full eight hour day of, of boating and a boat rental. Um, the boat was really nice um, and you know, everybody was really helpful at the place. So if you're looking for an affordable place to rent a boat in Deep Creek, I would definitely recommend them. We're just gonna all get kind of showered up, hang out for a little bit, and then we are going to go to dinner. I'm not sure where Eric mentioned that he wanted to get oysters, so we'll see if we can find somewhere for that. But uh, overall, a really good day so far. Um, I will try to take some video at dinner and, and show you what we find there. Boo is also having a good time. Say hi, Boo. Hi. 20 minutes later. had to check out of the Airbnb this morning. So we're back in West Virginia now uh, on the way home. So last night was really nice. We went to Ace's restaurant and I got the chili dusted salmon that was really good. But I think that the polenta that it came with could have been a little bit creamier. It was kind of dry and like falling apart, but uh, like personally, I like my polenta a little bit creamier, um, but it was really good. We also got some crab dip that was excellent and it came with like these little pita chips that were really nice and chewy. They weren't like too crispy. And Eric got the uh, half roasted chicken. So it was really big. It was like a full like spatchcocked chicken and then it came with some green beans and like some really nice like buttery mashed potatoes so it was very nice they have a, a lookout um on the lake so it was it was really a nice evening to be out there and then we went to lakeside creamery to get some ice cream um nothing too fancy there i mean they do have a lot of different flavors and toppings and they make um different uh like sundaes and things like that but i just got a waffle cone with uh, a chocolate chip cookie dough so nothing too spectacular but it was really good ice cream it was very creamy and and really nice so then we just kind of got things packed up for today and um, this morning we had to be out by, by 10. So we were up and getting everything um, together and we drove here and then we will be on our way back home here a little later on this afternoon. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing a little bit of our lake weekend. Um, definitely recommend going to Deep Creek. It's a cute little town. There's, a, there's you know, a bunch of stuff to do. Um, obviously boating is one of them. Um, you can rent a bunch you can rent houses along the lake that's what we did you can do like jet skis you can canoe you can kayak the boating places also rent tubes that you can take to go tubing along with the boat um and then there is you know like putt putt there's a movie theater there um there is in the winter there's a, a ski resort called the wisp so you can do some skiing there if you'd like um and you know all the different sort of like winter activities there as well so it's a nice sort of like year-round destination that's not too far from us so it's two hours from pittsburgh and it's 45 minutes from um west virginia so it's it's not too bad at all it's a good sort of like midpoint where everybody can can kind of meet up um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of our vacation or 
a little bit of our weekend getaway. So thanks so much again for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will catch you next time.